just getting some, I don't know, background. Oh, look, now volume works. Some background color. Steven got some pretty music. Okay. So I did start the stream 30 minutes early just because I want to get this over with and get some shoes listed and some product. I got a lot of light going on, so excuse, you know, the close-up. Who's ready to list with me? Oh, let me open the chat. Those wrinkles. I posted a picture on Instagram yesterday and like my face is like all wrinkled right there. I was like, oh my gosh. Didn't even notice it till afterwards. Um file new window. Who's ready to list with me? Let's make some money. I got some old used Tory Birches to list and just some random stuff. Junk, really. Okay. Hey, Trouble, looking good, thanks. Kind of orangey, but hopefully we'll get it fixed. My hair is going to be difficult because I swim a lot anyways, so I'll probably have to always keep up with it. I'll probably always complain that it's orange and yellow. We'll see. Okay, pop out the trap. Thank you, DIY guy. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think we have like a cold going on, seriously. <clears throat> All right, we're ready to rock and roll. Just had lunch. Okay. okay, I can see the chat. All right, I'm totally going to list Tory Birch's first um, because they always sell immediately. Um, I am having a great day. What? This is like my third stream. Um, I did actually pull up my AdSense.com. Let me just uh, forward my screen. Oh, these wrinkles. I'm going to start slapping my wrinkles. Like, wake up. Don't wrinkle. <laughs> Don't wrinkle. Um, I looked up my AdSense, and so last month I didn't get a check from YouTube, which is normal lately since, you know, YouTube did their stricter um, monetization and stuff like that. Screen share. I pulled up AdSense right before this video, and it looks like I'm getting a check here in like three days from YouTube. Let me show you. <clears throat> Where is everything? Okay. <clears throat> so, right here, once you, now the new rule, you have to, what, get so many views in order to get paid. You go to the, uh, I don't know, AdSense. It's A-D-S-C-N-S-E -S -S -E right here. Just AdSense.com. You sign up. It links up to your YouTube, and it's showing that this month, around the 21st, I believe, is when it direct deposits into my bank. I will be getting a payment of $142.63 thanks to YouTube. Woo woo! So, I don't really know how to re read the performances and stuff, but like, these are my stats, the last seven days. I'll just click and show you all the last 28 days. Well, that's better, right? So, yeah, like I said, I don't even look at any of this stuff. Um, so, yeah, I don't even really know how to control the ads. <clears throat> You've got auto ads. I don't even know what this is. So, anyways, somehow I have it set up. To just pay me some money. Okay, so this is the YouTube stream. Close all this out. <clears throat> and open up the video again. Oh, I just hit stop. Okay, good. There we go. 
Hope you all enjoyed that. Yeah, AdSense.com. I think you can sign up anytime, but you definitely don't get start getting paid until the new rules. Don't ask me the new rules. They change all the time. Sorry. Oh, I've done videos before, like a whole video of it, DIY guy, and they never said anything. I never got a ding on it or anything, and I like fully showed a bunch of stuff on there. I'm not um, sponsored by anybody, so like I can show, I guess, my AdSense. YouTube's never flagged me for it. I think I did videos on it over a year ago. So, yeah. So far, so good. <clears throat> Let's get to going. So, cut these Tory Birches. Anytime you see this logo, it's super popular. I'm gonna kind of point the screen down. You won't get to see my face all the time, of course, because we're gonna look at these. Look at these. Turn in my light. Oh, come here, light. That junk in the way. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Hmm, yeah, your friends have probably been sponsored by like a company. Sorry, I'm gonna grab a hair clip. I can't stand my hair in my face. Got it. Um some YouTubers, you know, they get paid or something by companies and I've never done that before. I don't know who to let sponsor me and who to trust. So I've never done that before. So yeah. Okay. Camera it is. Poshmark it is. Let's just look real quickly how much the gold Tory Burch shoes sell for the flats used. So, do do do, and I type in Tory Burch flats and then gold. You're with full screen. Yeah, I have never heard of that. I don't know anything about it. Like, I'm totally clueless on the sponsors and stuff. But yeah, I wasn't sure if YouTube would flag me or not for the old videos that I did with showing my AdSense account. And they never said anything. It's crazy. Okay, so there's some pretty ones for 80 that sold. Looking like 35, 29... <clears throat> I'm going to go with listing mine for, let's look at the damages. I'm going to start mine out at 50. They don't seem too bad. The bottoms are a little roughed up, but uh, definitely not the toes or anything. So I'm just going to list them for 50 starting out yes yes i know i just wanted i was just saying back like yeah I, I totally did a video over it and they never flagged me so we're all good and the laptop's blocking my light let's see gotcha gotcha thank you guy it helps to just voice what you know, and then you learn something back, right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. There's my picture. Um, and I put a filter. I just click this button down here, and it makes it look filtered. And I'll take the same picture, or really, if I just hit the camera and go to my saved images took a bunch of selfies recently <laughs> and then upload the same photo without the filter next but we can drag it to like the fourth or fifth picture so here we go the toes
<clears throat> the backs. There's the backs. And I uh, can take some of the side. So I am going to take a pictures, take pictures of the damaged areas that I see, obviously. So there's some wear on the side right there. I'm going to hold it at an angle and take a side picture. Luckily, I painted my pretty little pink thing and nails. They look so pretty. Okay. And there's the picture. I'm not hiding it at all. And then the worst part of these shoes is a piece of the rubber on this corner up there chipped off, but I don't think that's too, too, too bad. Okay, let me see if I can get both of these shoes in there. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to tell the chica to totally look at all the pictures before she buys it. And I'm not even going to say that that rubber's broke off. I'm just going to tell her, or whoever buys it, to specifically review all the photos before they buy these Tory Burch shoes. Um, but I am going to take the last picture. I already did the heel, but let's do underneath this way. Ta-da. And I'm still going to list them for 50. Watch. Um, so the duplicate picture, I'm going to drag to the very last. And, yeah. There we have it. Okay. So TB for Tory Burch. I'm going to put gold. Um, are they stretchy like spandex? Stretchy flats. Okay, so pre owned. I'm gonna put does have some wear. Review all pictures before buying. Thanks. Like my pictures are totally clear. All right. Think you think I think you'd look cute in them if you like to wear girl shoes. I need a flip phone. <laughs> what do you need a flip phone for? You can get it on eBay probably. Uh, shoes, flats, size. What size? Ooh, look! I forgot to take a picture of that Tory. Oh, yeah, I can't see. Sorry, Tory Birch in there. Um. What are these sides? I know I saw it in here somewhere. Maybe. I still need to get a magnifying glass. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't see it anywhere. Look at this one. Hello. Oh, you like them better? I see. My bins, uh, my Goodwill Pound Store, they had like a whole bag of vintage, like old phones. And they have them behind the register, like the flip phones, like what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> but they wouldn't sell them. They said they had to send it to a company that like refurbishes phones or recycles them or something. DIY guy says I'll stick to my hiking boots. Okay guys, I'm not seeing freaking size on these and they are totally an eight because they fit me perfect. I'm gonna list them as an eight. They almost might be a seven and a half. 
but I think they are an eight. I'm going to go ahead and list them as an eight for now, and then I'll look real quick one more time. These are comfy. Color. What are they? Bronze? Isn't that bronze, you guys? I think so. I need it. So that'll be like gold and... So I'm just going to put gold. Okay. Bronze. Okay. I'm gonna, again, I put the original price probably cost 300 and I'm going to sell them, list them for 50 And if they sold for around that or a little less, 50 bucks would give me a profit of 40 So if I took a little bit less, let's say 30 25 is what I'll probably make off of those. Maybe 20 to 25 bucks, And I spent $2 on them. I thought I grabbed my Tupperware. Come on. Woo -woo. There they are. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, totally. I, man, I thought I saw the number in here. Okay, let me just grab a Tupperware real quick. I'll be right back. Throw those shoes in there. Right here. Okay. So there's my Tupperware. Oh my gosh, the first picture is the bottom. We gotta fix that. Whoops. Okay, fixed it. <sighs> okay, shoes down. Um, you know what? I actually have a rubber band right here. I should start doing that. I should start rubber banding the flats if I have some. I have a couple rubber bands. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and list these um, mono blonic. Some of these sell really well and some of them don't. So just list it high for 50 and see if we get it. If we ever can find the other one in the big market. Here we go. I'm not going to clean these at all. I'm just going to list them for exactly as, as they are. Except for a little washcloth, right? Yes, indeed. Okay. I have a little bit of like dish soap in. I got this wet with some dish soap. And um, that's it. It's just a really old washcloth that I don't really use dishes with it. Okay, we go. Leopard doesn't sell that well for me anymore, but. I don't know. You never know. Should I put some pearls on here? No? Because these are leopards. Let's see. I just think the pearls always look so elegant, doesn't it? Ooh, ooh. Some cheap ass pearls. Anywho, ready? Here we go. Come on, Poshmark's frozen lately again. <sighs> Don't do this to me. It's going to run slow like eBay, huh? Oh, my volume was down. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, first shot. I'll show y'all. Oh, yeah, it looks great with the pearls. Ta-da. Maybe. I don't know. Are the pearls too much? Yeah. Maybe get too close to the shoe. That's better. 
Maybe that one, you guys. That one's a little better. Maybe. I think so. Okay. Get the toes. I am really, I'm like literally going to take pictures with the ladies cushion in there. I'm not removing these because it usually leaves a bunch of ripped off, terrible, old like padding that, that someone stuck in there and I'm not going to ruin it. So we're just going to leave it in there gross like that. And the person who buys it can deal with it on their own. They can rip it off and apply their new padding and cover it. I guess I have no clue. Okay, so I clearly took a picture of the toes. A little, little bit damaged, right? Yes. And then the heels back here. And I got it wet, so now it looks darker than it normally is. So that sucks, but it's okay. <clears throat> okay, that's better. Um, typically, yeah, I don't show a lot of the damage on the bottom unless it's like messed up. But these say that they're made in Italy. So I'm taking the bottom half down there. Don't care about taking that picture. That's gross. Um, Oh, when was I mad? I didn't know I was mad. Like earlier when I couldn't find a product that I sold? Yeah, I was kind of irritated. Is that when you're talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, so yeah. These are done. I'm going to actually take a close up of the suede. Yeah. Like that. Just that. Okay, what size are these? A 36 and a half. So these are leopard. I'm going to measure the heel. Leopard high heels, pointy. I guess I'm going to put pointy toe. Pre-owned, please review picks for normal wear. Done. Category shoes. I am going to measure the heel. Um, high heels. Where are you? Heels. Size 36 and a half. Yep. Oh, I forgot to put Made in Italy. Made in Italy. And I forgot to put Suede. Um, so Suede. I think they're Suede. Brand. Manolo Blanc. I don't even know how to spell it. Say that. I feel like I should list them for higher, like 65. Hmm? Okay, so they're brown and black. New attacks, no. And let's do 60, we'll just try it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and list it, even though I haven't measured the heel. Um, and I think that's it. And then I'll go back in and edit it and measure the heel now. But now the listing is active and the girls can see it. So we'll post it. And measure the heel. <clears throat> so 
So it's three and a half inches. Three and a half inch heel. Looks like 31. Let me put a space. Three and a half inch heel. What's wrong with my computer? No internet connection. I hope we don't lose the stream, right? We shouldn't, hopefully. Oh, the shoes are pretty. Yeah, my internet's jacking up. Oh no, I just listed those underneath my mom's account. Um, We're gonna copy and paste that into my account. Crap. Fail. I'm not gonna, crap, what can I do? How can I make this quicker? I already have all the pictures in my phone, so I just need to log out and log into my mom, into mine. Crap. Hold on, guys. This is the first time I've ever done that. It's such a bummer. At least I caught it. Okay, so list. Let's do the leopard real quick. I mean, it literally has every picture. See? So, that one. Next, next. I copied the first line. Now, this one, I'm just going to type it. Three. And a half inch heel. <laughs> Three and a half inch heel. Pre loved. I need to start doing that. Pre loved. Condition. Normal wear. Please see fix. Okay. Category. Shoes. Heels, size, six, 36 and a half. Yep, 36 and a half. Color, brown and black. I need some lotion. Some lotion potion, some lotion motion. Okay. So, we got one listed. Let's log out, go copy the other listing, and then log back in. So, Sky Lark. Okay. So, so far, nobody has liked either one of the shoes, so we're good. <laughs> Somebody shared it, but that's it. So, select all, copy, bronze. I'm just going to delete it. So, we listed it for 50. Okay, we're going to log out. Log in. I'm mad. Grr. <laughs> Skylark. Oh, no, not Skylark. I need Smith 40 190. Okay. So, Tory Birch. Bam. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, guys. I'm editing this, I promise. Tory Birch. Okay, bronze. Tory Birch flats. And then what else did I have? Leopard. I need leopard first. Leopard, bronze, Tory Birch flats. And then I'm pasting the other listing. Yes, category. We listed it as an eight. Shoes. It was going to be gold. I'm actually going to go ahead and reduce the price to 45 already. Um, just because we didn't get any likes even off that time that I listed it, which is rare. Usually you get likes immediately if it's a popular item. So just went ahead and reduced it to 45. So there's my two listings that I basically listed a total of four things. I mean, I listed something four times, but it was a repeat. Really? <laughs> oh, you got to go back to work. Have a good one. Your BFF. That's so funny. I saw last week in Facebook, if you type the words BFF, it like pops out like BFF on the Facebook. Okay. Done with these. Um, we're going to list these ugly coach shoes. I'm all ugly. Maybe somebody will like them. They're perfect for summer, right? So they're kind of worn a lot, but I mean, the name is going to sell itself and the computer is completely frozen back there. That's an old computer. <clears throat> these are Perry size 9B. Mm -mm. I wonder if I hit the refresh. Oh, now it works. Okay. Ew, this is so gross. I was going to try to pull off one of these sticker thingies, but it's not coming off. Ew. What is that? Anywho, there's a Velcro strap or cushioning there. Super dirty, gross. Computer just crashed again. Okay. Not crashed, but fell asleep. You, yeah, I'm totally gonna leave that on there. And I'm not sure why they put Velcro there. Okay. <clears throat> My app is frozen. It's frozen. Oh, it crashed. Okay. I think, I, yeah, I'm going to lay one sideways like that, maybe. Not bad. They are definitely a little dirty.
bottoms are not too bad. And then I'll take inside of the... Okay. Alrighty then. First word is going to be the style, which is Perry. And then it is of a 9B, so I'm going to type in a 9B. 9B Coach uh, Multicolor, maybe? Color. Uh, what are these? Sandal wedges. So let's type wedges because I'm going to put them under sandals. Yes. Oh, wait, they have a buckle, so we're going to put the butt word buckle. No lie, I always put that. Okay, so pre-owned, review all pictures before buying to see normal wear. Seriously, I never typed that, but I am today. So, category, shoes. And yes, I do sanitize my phone when I get done listing, just in case. Um, okay, these are sandals, size nine, brand coach, color white, and I'm gonna do white and pink. Pink is a very popular color. And there's a pink strip and pink all over it, even though there's red, blue, and green. And there's gold. Pink is super popular. So. I'm going to list these for 25 because they're in pretty bad condition, kind of. Bam. Ooh, look at these pretty things. They're not going to sell for a high return, but they're totally... I thought I just heard somebody post that prom is coming. So these would be super perfect for prom, and they're in, like, used one time. So I'm super happy, actually, to get these up, even though they won't be a high return. These are, like, so pretty. I would wear these if I was going somewhere that needed these but i don't never really wear these they look too big too size nine again <clears throat> i'm gonna put the word prom shoes in here <clears throat> i think i need to take this off Work it, work it, work it. Oh, yeah, I think the brown is what's hurting it. I don't know. So there's the white, and let me show you the brown. Not too bad. So there's the brown. I think I like the white better. Look at them toes. Look, look, look at them toes. They are perfect. You can't see it, but I can see it. And so can the camera. I know I'm crazy. You don't have to tell me, right? Okay, these are like really weird heels. They're plastic. And they have some funky, is that a boat? Yeah, there's a sail ship in there. Oh my God, you got, see that? And then a flower back there. Mm hmm. Um. Oh, I wish I knew what to call these beads. Does anybody know what to call these rhinestones when they're like rainbow? Like they're every color. Like multicolor. 
multicolor. I almost should model my foot in it. Let's see here. Ouch. Bend over. Man. Yeah. I'm all. What? The sound effects, Heather. Really? The sound effects? Y'all don't be going and looking at my foot now, okay? No, I'm going to show you anyways. Ew. I'm going to leave it, though, just because, just because. Maybe somebody will think my foot is prettier than I think it is. Okay. Ooh, we're going to have to measure the heel. So what are these? These are em embellished embellished right am i right embellished multi color rhinestones are these rhinestone rhinestone prom shoes slip on prom Slip-ons. Anybody else got something better? I'm going to put worn once, no flaws. These are fit more like an eight and a half. Fits more eight and a half because they fit me pretty good. So they'd have to be, yeah. I don't know if I should even put that. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to just leave it at fits more eight and a half to nine. I'll put eight and a half to nine just to be safe. Okay, category shoes. Shoes, I guess, put them on as sandals. Would you guys put these as sandals? Oh, I think they are kind of, huh? They kind of look like prom shoes. I don't know. I don't know. Embellished multicolor rhinestone prom slip ons. Nobody's giving me any help out here. Um, <laughs> no, put size nine. Brand is John, John F. Fashion. Poshmark does not recognize John F. Fashion. Oh, John Fashion. My bad. Well, I mean, really, literally, the F is over here in the John and not the A, I guess. It looks like that. Color, black and silver, maybe? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to list them for 30 bucks, and I paid $2 for them. Ooh, we're going to list these flip-flops on the tray. They are the Choco brand, however you say that. I don't know, Choco. And then that one, the Toshu brand, Vibram. Right? Vibram, yeah. My mom, like, refuses to use this fur. Like, she just doesn't use it. I don't know why. She doesn't like it. She had a hard time understanding that I make her tell her to flatten the, <laughs> the fur down. She'd get irritated. So she just uses something that is not furry. This is dirty. Hold on. 
it's showing up in the picture. Y'all can't see it, but I can. Here you go, watch. See how that spot's coming up? Well, I'm just gonna wipe it down with the wet washcloth. We're gonna delete that picture and we're gonna start all over. Because now you can't even see it. It's just a dirt stain, like a dusty stain, I guess. Okay. Back to work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hate when you get a notification and you see it like popping away and you're like, wait, what was that? <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Okay, so there's the sandals again. And we'll just take a side picture. Oh yeah, these are coming out so good. There's the hidden size on the back, the wide seven. Just like the other Chaco's, Chaco, Chaco, whatever brand it is called, the other ones that we had. You know what I'm going to put? I'm going to put that these were only worn one time because they're really nice. <laughs> Sorry. Did you all see that? Did you really see that? I was like, <laughs> get the water off. Um, hilarious. Okay. Ooh, we need one of those, like, modeling, right? Wait. Wait. Maybe? Yeah, that was a pointless picture. Don't ask me what I'm doing. Um, oh, I did want to take a close-up of the flowers, though. Oh, wow. I'm glad that I did. Look how great that picture is. Okay. I'm going to drag that one actually up to the top. So it's going to be the second picture that they see how good of the condition is of the toe to you know the sandals so whatever okay so floral brown these are brown yeah all solid brown brown flip-flops flip-flops yes i'm gonna type in Vi vibram because i'm not sure if vibram or chaco is both in recognized as the brand so I'm going to type Vibram just in case, because I want to put it under Chaco, 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 whatever. Worn, whoops, worn once, no flaws. I'm going to just put in like makeup, like a fake thing here. I usually don't do this. Um, there's obviously clearly nothing wrong with these. I'm just going to put like, uh, got the wrong size. Just got the wrong size. So it's what it says. Worn once, no flaws, just got the wrong size. That's it. So category, shoes, sandals, size, and we need to type wide seven. So W7. Brand. Is Chaco in there? 
It is. So we have Vibram up here. So if the person types in vib Vibram, Vibram, they're going to pull these up. And if they just pull up Chaco, then they're going to also pull up these shoes as well. But if I had not typed in Vibram and someone's just looking for Vibram sandals, these won't pull up more than likely. So that's why I did both. Okay. Color. I'm going to do brown and red because red is also a popular color. So is blue, but I'm going to do red. So brown and red red. And I always like to type yellow and blue, of course. So multi-color yellow comma blue. Done. I'm gonna list these for um, a good starting point would be 35. I'm actually going to do 40. I don't know how much these go for, so I'm just going to guess. It's a good brand, so we'll reduce it in a couple days. So there they are. We've listed four pairs of shoes so far. <laughs> Wait, four, no, five pair. Sorry, there it is, five. Really seven, but I listed it under the wrong account, so I had to relist it. <clears throat> Ooh, these are fun. Um, Tommy Hilfiger slip on whatever tennis shoes. My Goodwill uh, straps most of them together so they don't get lost. Again, $2 is what I pay for all my shoes. These are almost brand new as well. I will probably, yes, be putting that these were also worn one time. And they have stars on them. I bet I could find the stock photo for these. Um, I wonder if they have a name. We'll see. Okay. Frozen. Come on, Posh. And the app crashed. Okay. <clears throat> we have one heart. So somebody liked our coach shoes that we listed for 25. We have one, where is it? One follower. So I like to just like go follow her. Or sometimes I will share their stuff just for liking my items. So like hit share, share, got it, done. Okay, but we're going to continue. So, okay. Ta-da! Are these some clod hoppers? What do you call these? Platform, you guys? You want that Tommy to pop out right there, right? Yeah. I wonder if this is going to come on. Nope. 
got a little spot. I'll show it to y'all. No, get back up there, Tommy. All right, we got a little spot. I think it's there, but it looks pretty good. Okay. Mm -mm. I went up a high angle shot like that. Do the back. Ooh, look at the poppin' Tommy. <clears throat> I used to love this brand in uh, high school. Not like I could afford it, but we got it somehow. <laughs> so there's the back. Okay. And I'll go ahead and show the bottoms. The bottoms. That one's so, like, that's a black mark. Like, it looks yucky, and it's not even. It's like a rubber mark. Whatever. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Get it. Right there. Yes, I do talk to myself. Okay. Cool. There we go. <clears throat> And I need a close-up of the stars. I do need a close-up of the stars. Clean picture. These are like really good condition. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Hi. Okay. Now what should we type? TH for Tommy Hilfiger, star, platform, sneakers, right? Slip-on sneakers, tie, sneakers. Y'all are no fun today. I'm just like talking away to myself. <laughs> Worn once, no flaws, please see. Ooh, what are these going to be called, you guys? Flats and loafers or platforms? Or sneakers? Anybody? Is anybody there? <laughs> They're not mules or clogs. What do we got? Sneakers. Sneakers? Yeah, I think I'll do sneakers, right? Because I put the word platform. Nobody wants to talk to me today on YouTube. Uh, size five medium. We barely hit it for women's size. Anything less than a five medium looks like it is children's. Says Poshmark, I guess. <clears throat> Tommy Hill figure. The color is blue and white. I'm gonna list these for 40 bucks. Again, I paid $2 for them. So if they do sell, I would make 32 bucks. That would be a score. Um, oh, look, I got some little girls. Ew, did I not wash these? I thought I washed them. Let's put this in a bowl right here real quick. These will wash up real quick, actually. Okay. 
I'm done. It may be too wet for the picture, though. Maybe. <clears throat> wow, people are quiet on Monday. Am I? Yeah, I'm still up to date on the chat group. I'm not missing anything, hiding any chat down there. Okay. Well, my neighbor brought her old car back, so she didn't trade it in. So I don't know. Talked about that on a different video, I think. Okay. Choco Kids. Total score right here. I think my mom sold a pair of these for a good, what was it, 25, 30 bucks? These are in probably better condition, so I'm probably gonna list these for like 40 bucks, maybe. We'll reduce them if they're overpriced. Mm, but I don't see the size on this one, do I? Hmm, I don't see the size. They're like super dirty. No whining. What does that say? No marking, no whining. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. You guys, I don't see a size tag. Okay, we'll come back to it later. Or I'll just look later. Anybody know where it's supposed to be? Oh, is that a seven? These, I mean, they're not a size seven. And Oh, this has a five and this one has a seven on the buckle. So that's not the size. I don't like it when I don't know the size, you guys. How can I sell it if I don't know? And it's a kid. Can measure it, I guess. It's probably hiding. Like I said, we'll come back to it. <clears throat> um, I really want to get these out of the way. I got these for my kiddo, and if he didn't like them, I was gonna sell them. You may have saw me haul these, but there's some brown leather Converse. These will probably uh, really sell. I'm probably going to list them as boy shoes because they kind of look like them. What size are these? Do I know? A size six. Let me grab my uh, Miracle Eraser. What is it called? Magic Eraser? Oh. All right. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. Oh, my screen is terrible. Ew, yeah, it's got the broken uh, flap. I'm just going to cut it off. Pointless when it's just hanging. <laughs> Well, we're not going to get that much for a meal. This is not coming off. That's okay. I'm going to leave it. I think I needed an alcohol wipey, really, instead of the magic eraser. It's not working. It's okay. I'm just going to list them. The kids like to wear the Converse all old anyways. Okay. The kids. So would I list these as men's? Let's look. My app is frozen. Now it's working. Not too bad. They look pretty good.
<clears throat> okay. There we go. You've been listing on eBay trying to make a nickel. Yeah, totally. I listed all those Harley Davidson shirts on eBay. I don't know. I don't feel like I got too much of a profit back in return. But a little bit. Oh, I needed to take a picture. The inside is kind of ripped just a little, but I think they're still good. The leather, they're leather converse. I've never seen them. <clears throat> oh, there's a tag right there. Is that really a tag? Show is. Let's see if we can get that tag in there. Okay. Much better. Okay, what does the tag say? Okay, they're juniors. Good. Six youth. Woohoo! But it doesn't say if they're girl or boys. That's not cool. Okay, so six youth. Those are clearly leather. Youth leather converse. Are they high top, right? Kind of. I think that's what that's called. Okay. Pre-owned normal wear. Um, please see all picks. The back pull strap came off on one shoe. The back pull strap in the back, <laughs> in the back space came off on one shoe. Okay, category shoes. No, we gotta change it to kids. So, kids, shoes, sneakers. Boys, six, yes, brand, converse. Oh, I need to put the word Chucks in there. Chucks. Okay, so I'm gonna list these for 25 bucks, which is kind of a lot for the hole on the inside and stuff, but we'll see. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I wonder, I'm gonna tie these two shoestrings shoe together so they'll stay together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why I got these. I think they're skater shoes. I'm just going to list them exactly the way they are. I'm not going to wipe them up. They don't have holes in them, so they're still really good shoes. So, Supra. I don't think I saw any of the skater guys wearing this brand yesterday. 
Ew, you think I have the shoestring coming out the same hole twice. That is so weird. I've never seen that before. I don't know. Maybe for more ankle support. Yeah, they wore the crap out of these. Where's my magic eraser? <clears throat> Oh, hell no. We're just going to leave it just like that. Just like that. They're way too dirty. See those toes? Okay. Let's see. Let's look up the comps, you guys. Uh, so, shop. My camera's frozen. My phone. Um... <clears throat> they were Harley Davidson vintage ones, like XXL. They were used. I mean, they sold for like fifteen dollars each. I just didn't feel like it was a high return. I guess I don't know. <clears throat> so far, nobody has liked any of the shoes that we've listed, except for the Coach ones. If anybody cares, so let's look up Supreme. Supreme or Supra. Where did I get Supreme? Supra. Supra shoes. Oh, wow. They got them for like 50 bucks. These are used, I think. Let's go to Solds. Dang. There's some used pair for 35 25 50. Oh my gosh, are these super societies? These are men's size 10 footwear co. I'm kind of glad I picked these up. Uh, I'm missing the comments over here. Surprising that they went so low. A lot of HD. Yeah, these were just cotton uh, around the world shirts. Like I had one from Germany, um, Florida, like all over the place. Oh, there's some used white ones that sold for 20 um, Hmm. All right, so I guess I'll start mine off at 25. I mean, they're pretty dirty, so there are no damages, though. So, so there's the first pick. You guys will be surprised. Like, you see all the wear on this shoe? Like, they will still sell. Somebody will still love these. Um, so there's that one. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> There's a side angle with my pretty pink fingernail. <laughs> Lordy. Oh, and yeah, this one has the black. They can just take a permanent marker and just cover right back over the Supra. But I'm going to leave it just like it is. I hope somebody really likes these shoes. So I'm going to take a picture of the inside tag. And we're done. So let's see. I'm going to put like high top. What was I going to put? Oh, I was going to put skate. I think I looked this up and these were skateboard shoes, but I really don't know. Don't quote me on that, guys. I think they are. I don't know. <laughs> um, black tennis shoes. I'm just going to put tennis shoes, but it's going to be listed under sneakers. Okay, so pre-owned. That's all I'm going to put on Poshmark is pre-owned. They can see the pictures. 
category, men, shoes, would I say 10 medium or just a 10? Yeah, just a 10. So these are sneakers, boat, loafer, sandals, sneakers. Yep. Size 10. I'm actually going to go a little higher and list these for 30. Uh, Supra. They recognize this brand, Supra. I actually have one more pair of shoes, I think, that are skater shoes, so we'll list those right after these. I'm glad to get these out of my life and listed. Uh, I was going to put black, but there's clearly white, so I'm going to list these as black and white, not just black. And I think that is a snake print, but should I put that? I don't know. Let's do it. Snake print? Or is it croc? Who knows? I don't know. 30 seems a little high, but maybe I'll get some dudes that'll like it and I'll reduce it and I'll give them a discount. So let's see. There we go. Bam, 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 shoes. Okay. Let's tie these together as well. Ew, they funkily, funkily. How did they tie the shoestrings? I've never seen anybody tie their strings like this. Okay, whatever. Can tie these together as well. Um, where's the next ones? Yeah, these ones are pretty cute. I like these ones. These ones definitely look like skater shoes. But again, I don't. I didn't see anybody wearing these yesterday or two days ago when I went to a skating meetup, a skate meetup contest. Um, what size are these? These are a ten and a half, so they probably belong to the same guy. Guess he didn't like them. Guess he didn't like them, huh? Yeah, I don't think my pictures of the Harley Davidson shirts were that good either. I probably could have done a better job, but I figured the name itself would sell and I listed any flaws that it had and whatever. I'm just happy I listed them. I sold them. They got a new home and I made a little bit of money off of them. These are in really good condition. FYI. I wonder if my hubby would like these. He actually told me he wanted a black pair of Vans just like these. I think he wears like an 11 though. I don't know if he'll fit a 10 and a half. Oh well, we'll list them. It's not like he ever wears these kind of shoes anyway. He just wears his, uh, what does he wear? Sanooks. <clears throat> really good really good i'm amazed at the quality of these they're pretty good you guys what why would i ping that person Hello. Get off you white hair. Okay, white hair is stuck on this. I'm going to use tape real quick. Like just a piece of tape. And it's going to pull it off. Can't get it. Anybody ever do this? I'm out of lint rollers. These just work quicker than finding a lint roller half the time anyways. Dang, there's a lot of little white stuff. 
it shows up so you really got to make sure they're clean you guys if you want top dollar go buy me a skateboard huh okay we ready love it these look like amazing shoes sorry i just can't get over it see you later bff the 3d vintage ones sell the best but yeah photos make a big difference um i don't sell too much on ebay um but i do here and there yep i have a couple listings right now look at them shoes perfect i should probably list these ones for like 60 huh maybe 50 we'll do 50 for now <clears throat> I knew that the Harley Davidson would not be as more, what do you call it, um, as popular on Poshmark. So that's why I listed them on eBay. Because Harley Davidson motorcycle dudes, they're not on Poshmark, you guys. Come on. <laughs> like, seriously. There are just certain things you can't list on Poshmark. I mean, you could, but good luck. So I'm totally showing the wear on the back, which is very like minimal, if any. It's a teacher. Easter egg request. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we done. Okay, so um, what do we list these starting with? Skate or not? Let's just do it. Skate shoes. Pre-owned, great condition is what I'm gonna put. Category men, shoes, Loafer and slip on Oxford and Derby. What? I don't know what to do, you guys. Um, they're not an athletic shoe. Are they sneakers? Can I just put them under sneakers? That's what I'm gonna do. Would I say ten and a half? Yep. Supra. My uh, app, I think, for my key for real estate is called Supra. The Supra app. I think that's, yeah, what it's called, Supra. So these are black and brown. Thanks. I totally painted them myself. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there, right? It's hard work painting your own nails, man. So again, black and brown is the color I'm gonna put. Some dude may want his shoes to be black, but he definitely wants the brown bottoms. So that's why I'm putting both. Um, I'm gonna start these out at, what did I say, 40? Did I say 40 or 50? I don't know, yeah, we'll do 40. And there's my listing. Let's see if I got it. Yeah. I don't know why. I just wanted to take a really good close up of the logo here. Just because. Like so, kind of. Pointless picture, but I had to do it. Okay, let's tie these together. Also, because sometimes I do have a problem where I can't find a pair of shoes and I can find one 
and the other one's way at the bottom of the tub. Love the picture. Thanks, Stephanie. I have a lot of light. Um, as you can see, I have a huge window here. And then I have a light right there pointing down at my table. And I'm using as much crisp, clean background as I can. I would love to get a paper background instead of this fur, but I haven't done that yet. But I do love my fur. Ooh, these are like, oh my gosh, some guest shoes. We need to list these, and they look dirty. They're getting damaged. My Goodwill, again, they put these on there to keep the shoes together. Hello. I know my necklace isn't matching, but I did a haul with it. I just haven't taken it off. What the heck was that? Oh, look, I forgot about like these um, Roxy shoes right here, too. Okay. We really, really need some alcohol wipes, and I have some right over here. Gosh, I just got a hair in my, a white hair in my eyeball. Oh, I thought I did. I think I got it out. Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Something is tickling my eye. <laughs> Oh yeah, really clean now. Took off a lot of the mark. These alcohol wipes, you guys, are freaking amazing when I'm listing my shoes. Like they get out stains and marks so well. So there's a guess shoe. This, you can tell somebody tried to sell for five bucks with a marker. I'm going to take a permanent marker and just, um, like, I'll show you. I don't think I can get all this off, and I'm not going to try because it would take me forever. I'm not even going to peel off that tape, you guys. Like, I don't care. I'm going to list it just like that. But I'm going to take that price. I'm like stepping over shoes and I'm just going to white it out or mark it out, which is probably really ghetto, but I don't care. Let me see here. See, I'm like scratching the actual shoe. Well, I got a piece or two off. Hell, it's easier than I thought. <laughs> No, I'm actually ripping off the silver, you guys. Sorry. Sorry, I'm going to tell them I removed the tag. See, should have left it. As if that doesn't look even more ghetto. Okay, so that's what I totally just did to that shoe, you guys. It looks even worse than it did before. That's why you should never rip them off. Just leave it. Just leave it. Okay. <clears throat> so this has a flaw where it's got the brown mark. It won't come off. It's okay. Okay, let's get to work. They're damaged flippers now. I just feel like I need to wipe my hands off. 
I'll save that for the next shoe. <laughs> Just showing the toes. <clears throat> showing the back. Can y'all hear my music at all? I mean, y'all haven't really been talking to me today, but can you hear the music? <laughs> it's actually pretty peaceful for me. I don't feel like I'm sitting here like in the dead silence. That's a really good picture from the side. I think that's going to be my first picture. And then I'm going to show the flow like on the inside. I'm going to try to make it visible that that flaw on the inside here is on the inside and not the outside of the shoe. Okay. I'm going to have to type out that I removed the tag and it ripped off the paint, right? So, uh, bow. What is this? Bow. Kind of a wedge. Slip on. Sandals? I don't know. So, pre-owned normal wear. Please review all pics. I removed the size tag and it ripped off some paint. I'm just going to put paint um, category shoes. These are sandals, I think. What size are you? These are W. Jeverly, so we need to put that in there. They're an eight and a half medium. Super cute. I thought so. What is, how do you spell it? Like B. Jeverly, B is in boy, G E V E R O Y. B. Jeverly. Whatever. <laughs> Brand is guess. Color is white and black. Um, I'm going to list these for 35 just to start out with. Oh, from the side, you can't really see the bow. I think I should have it angled a different way. Let me try this again. Boo! <clears throat> this is not working out for me. Hold on. Just take the dang picture, Heather. 
Ready, set. Speak. I'm like super OCD, you guys, apparently. I just don't like the paint. <laughs> okay. Moving along. What are these? Oh, I threw those in the wrong box. Okay. Let's just go ahead and list these black Roxy shoes that I just got like recently last week. Yes, I just used my teeth. Okay. Come on. I think I'm going to list these for like 35 just because they're Roxy. I don't know. Roxy's kind of expensive. Super cute, you guys. Look at them. I think these are even my size. Yep, they're an 8. But I don't really wear these. They would look super cute. I know my old neighbors that just moved their daughters. She's like in what? High school right now, she would have loved to wear something like these. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to make it to the bins today because I have to pick up my kiddo and he hasn't asked to stay late today so. Guess he's not staying late. And I'm not going to let him text me like 30 minutes till and be like, hey, can I stay? No. Well, I guess I did tell him he could text me 30 minutes before. Super cute boots, you guys. There's, no, I don't see anything wrong with them. There's a couple hair, string hair, string sticking up. And I actually like to burn these strings. I will show you. I have a lighter ready. Right um, right. See that sticking up right there? I'm just going to burn those down. Oh my gosh. Perfect. See? no longer there because I'm a genius I know it not really I'm selling used shoes right if I was a genius I wouldn't be selling used shoes <laughs> I'd be out there selling some TJ Maxx brand new tag shoes I don't know maybe these are freaking cute with the Roxy logo love it love it show y'all. I'll show y'all the picture here in just a second. My app isn't frozen again. It's frozen. There we go. So. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, there's the side picture with the Rock Roxy logo. Pretty cute, man. Pretty cute. I would totally wear these. Maybe. Okay, you guys, I said the video would go on till 3 o'clock, so I actually started it 30 minutes early. So I'll probably just list these, and then we'll end this video. And um, I don't know. If my kiddo texts me and says he stays late, I might go to the bins today, but I'm not quite sure. If anything, I might just come right back after I pick him up from school and I'll come back home and we'll do one more listing video for like an hour, maybe. I don't know. Can't wait till I dye my hair one more time to be like super platinum blonde. It's looking really orange in this video. So, okay, let's finish listing this. These are called Fremont. So we're going to put that word first. Fremont booties. No, we're not going to do booties. Uh, Fremont small heel booties. Lace up, maybe? And then what do y'all put? Mesh for that? Or like breathable mesh? Maybe both words? Mesh slash. Now I'm not going to put breathable. I'll just put mesh. Um, so how many more times are this? Uh, let's see. Minimal wear. No flaws. Minimal wear. No flaws. I'm going to put the word true to size because I get a lot of girls that ask that. And that's not... True size. That's just, um, I'm just going to put that. It annoys me because sometimes I can't verify if they're true to size because if they're a 10 or a size 9, I don't fit it. I'm not going to measure it for you. If you want me to measure it, I can measure the length of the shoe if you want to verify if it's um, true to size. But they never ask me to measure. They just ask my opinion. So, sorry about you. I've never had a negative uh, response on it, so it works. Size 8 brand is Roxy. I love the brand Roxy. Color is black, and maybe I'll put the word tan because it has a tan bottom. I usually don't do that, but I am on this one. So I'm going to list these for 45. I don't know what I said earlier, but 45 is what I'm going to do. So I paid $2 for them. If they sell for 45, I will make a profit of $36. And that's it for the show today, you guys, for listing. Let's count how many I did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 pairs of shoes so not bad so we'll see you guys on the next video thanks for hanging out with me and have a great week bye